I love this question. I think this is the heart of the matter for the country. And I don't see it so much as our party's goals. I see it as our country's goals of returning to constitutional principles, to understanding what values created this country, that wealth creation was enabled by constitutional principles, that the Constitution enabled people to, to express their individual creativity, and that's what creates wealth. We have so much in common. I, the, the division to me is, is not so much parties, but we have to be unified as a country around founding principles. I've lived for quite a time in, in the Soviet Union and Eastern or Western Europe as well, so I was always having these discussions with with my friend, my Soviet friends, my Russian friends, my my Western European friends about this. Um, lately, I was encouraged to join the Colorado Springs Diversity uh, Food for Thought program, which has quite a liberal bias, but it's really taught me how to listen and how to plant seeds that will grow into conservatism. Because a lot of people are more conservative than they think. I think we've all experienced this in our own families. We have. We have family members that say they're liberal, but yet you know in their heart they're conservative. So I think forming friendships first, undemonizing ourselves to the left, and then just really working on planting seeds that we know how to articulate. <laughs> okay. I should be saying my name every time also, shouldn't I? Paul Lundy, House District 19. So I think there's three words that answer this question. Proven, truth, and style. Proven. I've been able to do this on the State Board of Education. I've had a number of issues where I've been able to carve off one Democrat to get a 5-2 vote, which is a supermajority. It allows us to do things you can't otherwise do. Um, and you have to speak the truth, the second point, which I think Mark just did beautifully. The truth of the underlying values, the constitutional values, the family as design values, those cause people to rally to you because there is truth in those values, but it's a matter of style. You have to do it in a way that people will listen to you. If you punch them in the face at the beginning of the conversation, they're not going to hear what you have to say. I've walked into what I call the lion's den. I've gone as an education official, as a conservative education official, I've gone into so many rooms where I was the only conservative in the room. But if you go into that room, speak truth with a positive style, you can win people to our cause. And that's what I've been able to do. That's what I will continue to do. Did my mic just shut off? <laughs> All I need, House District 19.